Meanwhile, Associate Professor at the School of Public Health at the University of Technology, Dr. Alberton Bailey, is welcoming news of a field hospital for the treatment of COVID-19 patients. Here once again is Shamela Pullen. The fort-bed facility, which arrived in the island on Saturday, is being set up at the National Chest Hospital in St. Andrew to accommodate COVID-19 patients. This as Jamaica continues to see a spike in COVID-19 cases. The Ministry of Health had projected that 1.5 million people will have COVID-19. Dr. Alverston Bailey is an associate professor at the School of Public Health at the University of Technology. According to Dr. Bailey, based on that number, 81% of 1.2 million will have mild to moderate infection, while 14% or 210,000 will become severe and require hospitalization. That 14% of the 1.5 million will translate into 210,000 persons. 5% will become critically ill, which means that they might need intensive care treatment. And regretfully, 1 to 2% of the 1.5 million might die. And that translates into between 15 to 30,000 persons. Dr. Bailey added that local hospitals are in no way ready to handle the influx of patients who will require specialized care. I know, for example, initially, the University of Dustin had 17, and it was expanded, I think, to about 30. I know that. The last time I checked, Corner Regional had around 15 and Falmouth had around 6. I can't comment on the other, the, the situation in the other hospitals, but if the University Hospital had 17, it indicates that the, the total number of available COVID-19 beds in Kingston and St. Andrews is fairly low. As such, Dr. Bailey says given the COVID-19 situation in Jamaica, the need for the field hospital is urgent at this time. And in fact, I must congratulate the government for actually bringing in the field hospital because they are going to be needed if we continue on this trajectory. And so, yes, I totally agree that they should be brought in. The main concern I have, and it's a matter that I suspect the Minister of Health will soon address, is how are they going to be staffed with nurses, doctors, and civil staff? And the, will they, where will they be getting the appropriate equipment to provide adequate patient care? That is a matter that I'm sure the government will soon address. The government says it plans to acquire three field hospitals, with the other two being deployed in western and central Jamaica. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.